Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Stephonics channel. Today, we're building the real grade Gundam Asteroid Blue Frame. So, if you follow my channel for a long time, you know I built a gold frame before, and my suit couldn't stand on its own. So, I don't know if it's my problem or Bandai's problem, but this time I'm giving the Asteroid series another try. If my blue frame doesn't stand on itself again, I'm honestly gonna cry. Well, but anyway, that's not the point. So today, if you watch my unboxing video, I bought the Asteroid Blue Frame, and you know I'm I'm about to unboxing it. So you know this is premium Bandai stuff, so nothing at the side. So we can straight go to the unboxing. So after we open it, we'll see the frame, the MS frame, and the uh, decal sheet as well. And next, what we in here, we got a uh, some hands part, uh, some shoulders part, uh, some legs part, and some uh, cameras and beam savers. And next, we got the shield, the back, back legs, the uh, feet, uh, the gun, and we got a we got the uh, asteroid blue frame part, which is the J runner of the uh, hyper bazooka. Next, we got uh, a lot of hand. We got some hand options here, and we got a uh, we got the shield part uh, and the other armor stuff part. And most importantly, we got the Miraculo guys figure here. So really good. Okay, next the RG bulk, and you know I'm just gonna slightly open it, and then you just kind of walk through it so it's just basically the same as the uh, asteroid referring but this time just add you a uh, bazooka gun um, uh, in instruction manual and at the back we got the color guide and the where uh, and where the stickers go well you know I gonna test it again so if this time this asteroid doesn't stain on its own I am honestly gonna cry so I'm gonna see you at the review
Hello and welcome back to the review of the RG Gundam Asteroid Blue Frame. So this is the finishing of the whole product. So I'll need to say though, uh, if you read, if you watch my uh, Gold Frame review, RG, and you should say uh, this is basically completely the same. Well, it is the same, okay. And well, this time my asteroid can stand. Yes, it finally can stand. <laughs> It doesn't fell out anymore. So, um, you know, I'm just going to start with the movement first. So first, the hands are extremely movable, as you can see. Uh, double joint here. Uh, it's not. It's not like. Um, it's not like the. Um, the double joint, so it's uh, pretty movable as well. But it's not as movable as the other RGs because there's there's a little piece here, and the shoulder is an individual part as well. Can uh, achieve a 360 movement very easily. And the head, uh, no problem at all uh, moving around, but just couldn't move 360 because there's a little back side there. And then the, and then the sword, and then the sword there, and then the sword at the back uh, is movable as well. The backpack as well, the backpack itself is movable as well. Also, the waist, the waist can move 360, no problem at all. Uh, if you if you if you use gen, if you just push it gently, the, oh. The whole back can move. The whole back is movable. Yes, the whole back is movable. All right, let's talk about it. And then legs. Legs is a legs is a very movable as well. Is a it's connected with a moving joints, and which is which means it's very movable. Let me just, but it's pretty hard to snap it back to uh, straight for some reason. And the feet, uh, movable front tips. Uh, the feet and it's movable as well and it can go 360 no problem at all and then the ankle armor here is uh, slightly movable as well yes and okay let me just get it back to the standing position first need to take some time all right there we go back to the topic so uh, this is the obvious of course this is just a uh, the uh, color different from the red frame, and uh, so the marking, so the marking on the suit is uh, pretty detailed as well. So as you can see, we have got left a, a lot of marking here. And if you want, you can use them, but I just don't feel like using them, so I choose not to use them. And and next we got a figure of the uh, of the pilot uh, Morocco guy, and. It's white, of course it's all white, and you will have to paint it yourself if you are feeling interested. So let's talk about some opening movements. So the cockpit is openable, as you can see, if I just twist it down, and you just basically need to pull it out, and the cockpit is already open. Uh, you know, it's RG, nothing really special in there. It's not going to be having any um, details in it, because, you know, it's a RG, man. How the hell can, how the hell can a small scale got a detail uh, inside, right? So uh, okay, just give me a second. If uh, by the way, just fall out. So if you need, if you want to uh, put it on the extra base, oh sorry, if you want to put it on the extra base, you need to snap this piece under the waist part so it can go on the extra base. Just a little note there. All right, so now start start talking about accessories. So first, we will have a we will have a beam rival, which is. Uh, Exactly the same like the red frame. I mean they both like the brother units Two, we We've got a pair of beam sabers uh, We got a pair of beam sabers at the back which is uh, doesn't have the attach part on the hands But this one uh, as you can see it uh, it kind of comes out. So it got a attach part on the beam saber and third three we've got a shield which is uh, pretty well detailed and Of course, it's just a normal shield. Yeah, it, it works normally and we got this new, oh sorry, we got this new bazooka and it's openable. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, you need to uh, open the back. So you, you need to kind of use some force. Yes. Okay, I kind of break it. Sorry, I kind of break it. Uh, so first, you need to slide it out and open this up. And open this up so it can take it out. And if you need to put it back, very easy. You just do this and do that. Done. Very easy. Uh, it's a really nice feature, though. You can take out the rock as well. So for the hand option, we got this. Uh, we got a pair of really signature RG movable hand, and we got a and we got a pair of um, 
We've got a pair of uh, the normal weapon holding hand. We've got a fist hand that are correctly attached on. We got a right hand only, the rival holding hand. I'm not sure why you couldn't see it, the rival holding hand. And we also got a open hand for the left hand as well. Uh, okay, so there's a couple things that I need to complain before I skip to the conclusion. First, uh, for some reason, all my Astro models couldn't really stand, really stable for some reason. Uh, the gold frame, especially my blue frame, could stand on its own. Could it could stand on its own, but it's just uh, this is it, it just always seems shaky. Like if I move it a bit, you can see it's it start become shaky, right? It start become shaky. And two, I really don't like the backpack design. I'm not saying the shape of it is uh, is the joints. It's it's really f it's really sloppy, and the back and the back, uh, you know, the beam saber holder is really sloppy, and it just always fell out, and and it's hard to put it back when you, when the backpack is already attached on the back, and yeah, I, that's just basically my opinion, and you know, I would say. So now I'm gonna wrap it up. And uh, I really like this model, really liking it. I, I put a metallic blue on it, maybe you couldn't really see clearly. And uh, I really like the suit. I will recommend you to buy it because uh, I, for some reason I like blue frame more than anything. Yes. No, it's just, it's just I only like the, it's just I don't only like the design because uh, I really think the bazooka is a really good job on it and uh, by the way the bazooka does have a side join here you can just flip it out oh sorry i kind of shut it down you can just flip it out you can just flip it out and there's a back then you can just so the bazooka could store in the back like this and as well as the guns you know there's a there's a little little small join here you can just uh, put it on as well so okay wrap it up uh, I really like the suit and I would recommend you to buy it because uh, it's, I think it's a really good design and it's, it, it have a lot of details and I don't think you would like to buy the XG ones, right? The XG blue frame, you know, the really old version is really bad and uh, the color is just terrible. The colors on this is just terrible. You know, it's, it came out probably like early 2000s, so it, w it won't be looking good and the ROG version definitely huge improvements and uh, really liking it and I would definitely recommend you to buy it and for me the thing that I really appreciate is the is the weapons uh, have a lot of details and it even give you a option to uh, take out the uh, the, bullet, uh, the bullet package so I really like it and I would definitely recommend you to buy it. This is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and by the way, before I say goodbye, I will say my video schedule upload will be slower than usual because uh, during I have extremely a lot of work I have to do and I don't have really much time to trim videos. So if my videos came out late, please wait <laughs> okay please wait um i will try my best to get my videos uh, up quicker and all right see you next time goodbye